we have got an unboxing. Had a bunch of stuff sent to the house from Monstrum Tactical. This is the one I'm second most excited about. So we're going to get an unboxing done on this. And I will mount it up on the gun. We're going to test it on and show it to you at the end of the video. But what we have here is the Monstrum Cyborg. This is a one power prism optic. And it is the ultra compact. So this is the packaging it comes in. Monstrum always has the nice boxes. Got your lifetime warranty here on the bottom of the box. And we'll get this opened up. So once we pull the lid off, we've got our optic here. We've got the instruction manual. We've got our Torx. A couple extra screws here. Got your lifetime guarantee card. The QR code scan. We also have the cleaning cloth. And we've got our CR2032 battery. That is everything in the box. Alright, our optic comes in this nice vacuum sealed bag. Let's get this out. Take a look at what we've got. And there is our Monstrum Cyborg. Very cool, very cool. All right, let's get into this. So this is the Monstrum Cyborg 1x20 Prism Optic. You can also get this in a 3 power fixed magnification. This one is the 1 power. Now, when we were opening up the box, we talked about the Helios 4 or the H4, whatever you want to call it. And this is their new lens technology they're using for the Prism. Now, I took this thing outside, and Monstrum Prism optics have always been really nice, clean, and clear glass. But th this is on another level, what they're doing with this. This is probably the clearest glass I've seen yet on a Monstrum Prism Optic. Now as far as I know this is Monstrum's first Prism Optic with Shake Awake. So this will power itself down after 10 minutes. It will fully go to sleep after two hours but the Shake Awake on it when you grab it it will go back to the setting that you left it on when you turned it off. Now there are 11 brightness levels on this of red and green illumination. Now taking it outside I had it turned all the way up on the green. It was still pretty faint which most prism optics are. We've discussed that on this channel time and time again. But I will say that the red turned all the way up almost had like a a red dot feel to it. It was it was the brightest Monstrum reticle I've seen yet on the highest setting on red when it comes to their prism optics. Now, one other thing that I really love about this cyborg that they've done is one of my favorite red dots from Monstrum is the Vader. You guys have seen it on my PCC that I shoot in USPSA. It's my favorite Monstrum red dot. And it has the push button electronic controls and now they have integrated that into the cyborg prism optic speaking of the controls when you want to turn the optic on you can hit the plus or minus on the electronic control to turn it off you will want to hold the minus for three seconds and it will shut the optic completely off and if you want to cycle between the red and the green, you will hold the plus for three seconds to switch back and forth from red to green. Now, we already discussed that you can get this in just a fixed one power or a fixed three power, but you can also get this in the black and you can also get it in FDE. 
Now let's talk about the mount. This does have two integrated recoil stops on it. Now this has the absolute co-witness mount on it. Now you can remove this. This uses that aim point foot, footprint. So if you want to put this on something and you need it down lower, you can put an optional low profile picatinny mount on this as long as it has that aim point footprint. The reticle on this, you also have two options on the reticle. You can get the circle dot, which is what I have here, and you can get the DX1 reticle. And I'll put a picture of both of those reticles up on the screen so you can see what they look like. Now, your windage and elevation. You've got these caps that come off. They're long-winded. And you have your flathead screwdriver built right into the top of the cap. And they are half MOA adjustments on both the windage and the elevation. And they are very audible and very tactile. And speaking of the caps, the Cyborg is constructed out of 6061 aircraft grade aluminum and this does have the IPX7 waterproof and fog proof rating and it is nitrogen sealed. Now the eye relief on this is six inches to six and a half inches. It does have the adjustable diopter. The weight on this is 11 ounces it does have the type 3 hard anodized finish on it. Your field of view at 100 yards with this is 83.2 feet. All right, now when you go to mount this to your 1913 Picatinny rail, you want to tighten your two Torx screws down to 30 inch pounds. That is what they recommend in the user manual. All right, I'm going to go get this mounted up on the gun I'm going to test it on. I'll bring it back. I'll show you what it looks like. And in the next video, we will take it to the range for a review. Well, there it is. We got the Cyborg mounted on my AK. Now, I did take off the Absolute Co-Witness mount. I had quite a few extra Monster and Low Profile mounts. So... Due to the Midwest Industries mount on this AK, the rail's already sitting kind of high. And with the absolute co-witness mount on there, it was just putting the optic way too high. So I got it right where I want it. I think it looks really good on here. It's kind of hard to get the whole gun in focus here in the studio, but I think I'm going to really like this. Well, let's get this out to the range, test it out. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.